Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into a key part of your car starting system, the starter solenoid. We'll break down how it works and explain the difference between the pull-in and hold-in circuits. Let's get started. A starter solenoid is like a heavy-duty switch that controls the power flow to your starter motor. When you turn the key or press the start button, the solenoid uses a small electrical current to control a much larger current, one strong enough to spin the engine and get it running. When you turn the key to start, current flows to the solenoid's small coil windings. Inside, there are two windings, the pull-in winding and the hold-in winding. The pull-in winding is responsible for pulling the solenoid plunger inward. This plunger moves a lever that pushes the starter gear, also called the pinion, into mesh with the engine's flywheel. At the same time, the plunger closes a set of heavy contacts, sending battery power to the starter motor. Without the pull-in circuit, the starter gear wouldn't engage. The pull-in winding is typically made of thicker wire with fewer turns, resulting in low resistance. This low resistance allows a large amount of current to flow, creating a powerful magnetic field. Once the plunger has fully pulled in, the hold-in winding takes over. Its job is to keep the plunger in place, holding the starter gear engaged while the engine cranks. The hold-in winding is typically made of thinner wire with more turns compared to the pull-in winding. This results in a higher electrical resistance. Here's the cool part. When the heavy contacts close, the pull-in winding is often deactivated due to voltage equalization on both ends. The hold-in winding alone has enough magnetic force to keep everything locked in position, and it uses less power, preventing overheating. Once the main contacts in the solenoid close. So why do we need both? The pull-in winding gives a strong initial pull to overcome spring tension and mechanical resistance. The hold-in winding keeps things engaged without wasting energy. It's a smart design to balance power and efficiency. To sum it up, the pull-in circuit engages the starter gear and closes the main contacts. The hold-in circuit keeps the gear engaged during cranking. Together, they make sure your car starts reliably every time. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more car tech breakdowns.